Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Just show your love. Just show your love, especially if it resonates with you, okay? Hello, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you and I appreciate you. Here doing a general reading for Capricorn. Um, this is for the second part of October 2020. This is a general reading. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, don't forget, if you want a personal reading, all you have to do is give me a donation. My information is in the description box below. And I would love it if you, you know, would subscribe to the channel, especially if I resonate with you. Um, and um, hit that like button, okay? Show me some love, y'all. Show me some love. Um, Capricorn. Your overall energies is fulfillment of wishes, okay? Fulfillment of wishes, and we have universe, and you have patience. This is temperance. So you're doing a lot of healing. You're getting your balance together. You have ended a cycle, and you're starting new beginnings here. If whatever you're wishing for, um, Capricorn, you need to be patient because it's coming in. Whatever it is that you wanted is coming in. You just need to be patient, okay? Some of you guys got new love coming in with this Ace of Cups, okay? This is a positive new emotional experience that you're going to be going through. It's going to totally emotionally fulfill you. And it's going to be a deep, lasting, spiritual connection that you're going to be going through right here. We also have the Three of Raphael. So some of you guys, somebody wants to reunite with you, okay? And you're going to have a reason to celebrate something here. Maybe you're getting together with your friends, having cocktails. I mean, yay, I don't know. Or, um, yeah, that's pretty much. Um, and then I get that somebody wants to reunite with you, okay? And then we have the king of Raphael. This is, you guys got a water sign coming in. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, it doesn't have to be. But we got a whole lot of emotions here. We got nothing but water here on the table right now, okay? So somebody is really in love with you, Capricorn, and you are in love with them, okay? Y'all feelings is like, on the y'all on the same page. You know, um, this per this this king, this king of cups. Yeah, this person is wanting to offer. They're ready. Somebody is ready to offer. I want to say a proposal here. I, I see a proposal here on the table. Somebody is ready. They've made up their mind. Okay, could be dealing with a Pisces. Literally dealing with a Pisces. I don't know. I'm just saying. Okay, so. Yeah, somebody's taking action here. Somebody's taking action towards you, Capricorn. What else we got for Capricorn, guys? Look at there. Look at there. New beginnings. New beginnings. What did I just say, y'all? Y'all got new beginnings coming in here. This is starting a new life. This is finding your purpose. This is forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So somebody's coming in, and you guys are going to accept this person, whoever's coming back, because you love them. They coming back in, they want to reconcile with you. This person wants something um, that's very stable, committed. This person is ready to commit here. And this person is rushing in. Could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. But, uh, yeah, this person is rushing in. They rushing in. Um, there's going to be a sudden change here. This person um, is coming in, letting you know they want something strong and they want something committed. Okay? This person is going to speak truth to you. Okay? They're finna speak the truth to you. What else we got for Capricorn? And then, guys, we'll clarify. I don't know what's been going on with the videos, but I've been having some issues. So, I'm trying to get through this very quickly here. Look, this person wants to take a chance here. This person wants to take that leap of faith. Okay? They're ready for it. They're ready, they're, they're ready to do it. And then we have the Magician. Someone has manifested this. Either you are Capricorn or the person that you're dealing with. You have everything within your being to manifest the things that you want, okay? So let's go ahead and get some clarification here. Why is the Ace of Cups here, guys, for Capricorn? This is a very, very, very nice reading, Capricorn. Yes, it is. Somebody is really coming in here. Whoever's coming in here towards you, whoever you're dealing with, this person loves you. Whoever you separated from, okay? This person is coming back. This person loves you deeply. The Six of Cups. Is somebody in your past. What did I just say? Somebody in your past is coming back and they're confessing their love to you, honey. They love you. They are in love with you, okay? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
Um, why is the Three of Cups here? Why is the Three of Cups here? There could have been some things going on. This person possibly could have put you in a third-party situation in the past. Yeah, <clears throat> there could have been something unexpected happen. This is clarifying the Three of Cups. There could have been a third person going, you know, in this situation then, but that person is gone. That person, they're not with that person anymore. They're coming back because they want to express themselves to you. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn. I don't know. Why is the tower here? One more for the tower. Queen of Swords, yeah. <clears throat> you cut them out. When you found out what was going on, you cut them out. You cut them straight out. But they're coming back. Why is the King of Cups here? King of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, they want something stable and grounded here. And this could be you, um, Capricorn. You know, because cause the Queen of Pentacles, she is an entrepreneur. She's all about her money. She's very nurturing. She's very intuitive. She handles her business, okay? So this could be you. Definitely could be your energy, you know, making that money. But this person is coming in because they want something stable and grounded with you. New beginnings. Why is new beginnings here? Why is new beginnings here? We have the Four of Swords. So someone's taking a break because somebody is possibly not believing what's going on, what's about to happen. But somebody's taking a break, they're resting, rejuvenating themselves, healing themselves, probably from the situation that they've been going, they was going through. The Eight of Swords, yeah, somebody feels stuck here. Somebody feels stuck. All this information is coming in towards you. You can't believe it. <laughs> You're probably confused because guess what, Capricorn, you got a whole lot of options here. We got the World Card again. There, Whatever has, has went on, y'all, in the past, it's in the past. This is new beginnings here, the world. This is a new beginning. This person is coming here towards you. Yeah, they want you. And they're going to give you exactly what you want. Why is the world card here for the second time? Some of y'all must, must have been feeling, you know, left out in the cold, abandoned, you know, destitute. You know, this could have been you feeling some type of way because this person left or you cut the person out because of the situation yeah this person was probably very manipulative at, at you know in the past played a lot of game mind games with you okay but this person is has changed this they coming in they for real now they for real why is it the um the um leap of faith the fool yeah we got the six of swords clarifying the fool this is moving to common waters pisces Pisces. Y'all could be dealing with a Pisces. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They want to move the common waters with you. Uh-huh. Ace of Cups again. They love y'all. Come on, y'all. They love you. They in love with you. They in love with you. This person has changed. This person has definitely changed. Why is the magician here? Why is the magician here? The magician is being clarified by the chariot. They definitely want to move forward with you. Guys, I'm about to tell y'all. There is... This is going to lead to engagement if engagement marriage yeah this person is taking action they got a lot of passion for you with this queen of wands they got a whole lot of passion for you and they coming for you they are coming for you what advice do we have for capricorn guys what advice do we have for capricorn omg capricorn we, you got the sun card as your advice okay from from the universe this is going to be okay trust it this is happiness. This is abundance. This is everything that you want, and you're going to get it. And then we have the two of pentacles. Don't juggle the idea. Go for it. Go for it. This person loves you. This person loves you. King of Wands. We already got the Queen of Wands on the table. They got a whole lot of passion for you. Capricorn, go for it. They love you. 